Hey, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. Now, let, let me do this. Let me do this. The scriptures say, try the spirits whether they are of God. At first John chapter number four. Jesus said, Be well for all probably to come, come to you or with a sheep clothing. Now that's what Jesus said. Hallelujah. And I believe that I believe that's Matthew chapter seven. Yeah. I, I give you to understand, hallelujah, through it by the Holy Ghost that lead me to this. Trying the spirit and fault finding is two different things. Trying the spirit according to the scripture, according to Jesus, and fault finding is two different things. When you fault find, you ain't trying no spirit. You looking for fault. You don't even see it, but you're looking for it. That's your whole purpose. Let's see if I get it. That's your whole purpose. That, that, that's your whole purpose of, of listening to a certain preacher. That's your whole purpose of going to the church to see if you can find something wrong. You searching for it. You hoping for it. You can't even get it to serve it. You can't even, you can't even, you can't even lift your hand up in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. You can't even clap your hands on all ye people. Are you looking for fault? You ain't found it yet, but you're looking for it. <laughs> you probably be praising and magnifying God. You probably be saying amen to the truth, but you're looking for fault. That's your aim, looking for. <sighs> looking for fault. I got the Holy Ghost just brought something to my attention. You know the Holy Ghost say what? Jesus said, you all know the scripture. They were looking to see how they could trap Jesus with his own words. They look at the tip him. They looking for that. That's they aim. They call fault finding. They call your motivator right. Hallelujah. Now, when we try your spirit, when we be where I fall, prophet, Jesus say, my sheep know the voice of the strength, they will fall. We already know the word of God. We know the word of God is when you, when you say something that's not the word, we already know it. Wait a minute, Jesus didn't say that. We ain't going in looking for that. But when you say we know it, we know it. When, when you say it, when it come out of your mouth, we know it. Ain't that right? Remember the anointing that you have in the truth and no lie. He'll teach you all things. We know it. We, we, we know it. We, we know it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus serves on the front line, know it. Now you may have novices that don't know the word of God that's us they use in milk and unskilled in the word of God. You ain't on the front line. You ain't gotta be teaching nobody nothing. Baby. <laughs> but Jesus serving is out there on the field. We we well, God, we know it. We know it. When you when it come out of your mouth, we already no no, we already know it. When we see your actions, we already know it. Uh -huh. When you preach something that's contrary to the word of God, we know it. God know. That try your spirits. We already know. You say Jesus Christ did come in the flesh. We already know you had the Christ. Cause the scripture said it. 
You say anything can change to the word of God, we already know it. We ain't looking for it. We know it. We know it when it hit. And you're like, God, I, I have been listening to people and they going all in, going all in, going all in. Hallelujah. They going on pretty good. Did they say something the Bible don't say? Hey, ho, ho, ho. Wait a minute. What is that in the Bible? I had a fellow told me, well, the Bible don't say it. I said that. Okay, you better say you said that. You better say the Bible don't say it then. The Bible, he, said, he said, the Bible ain't saying that. That's me saying that. Well, you better let folks know that you say that, not the Bible. <laughs> Try the spirit and fault find this two different things. You fault find you a hypocrite. You're an antichrist. They tried to trap Jesus with his own words. Uh, you see that? You see that? That's their aim. They tempted him bringing him scripture. Uh, tempted him to see what he going to say. See that? And at one point, Jesus says up to him, and they, from that point on, they answered him not a word. They didn't question him no more. You're looking, that's your aim, looking for something. That's your way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's leave right there. Try the spirit and fault finding. It's a different thing. Thank you for real.